The origin of blockchain was uh, off the dark web. In other words, uh, people who wanted to do transactions uh, that they didn't want to let anybody know about, uh, they would use the coins. And, and that's how Bitcoin got going. Is if you're doing something illegal and you didn't want anybody tracking you or you didn't want to pay taxes on it or you didn't want anyone auditing you, basically the coin becomes, quote, the money that's moving back and forth. And so as soon as you participate in this and become a party, you have access to the full ledger. Now this ledger, so basically is a financial platform. And if you're dealing in this in some way, you get the entire ledger. And the ledger is made up of blocks, blocks of information. So then the first block has information. When somebody wants to add more information, it's tied into the second block. And that's why it's called blockchain or blockchaining. And <laughs> the trick behind this is that every user has the entire set of information. So let's say we've had 100 transactions in this group, this private group. Everyone has all 100 transactions. Now, what makes this possible, because ev evidently, you know, uh, this is not as efficient as if somebody had a controlled spreadsheet or a database and they just gave people access to it. This is actually every single individual who's participating in this has the entire blockchain. So that when somebody makes a change, this change is quickly sent out to everyone who's participating. In order to change anything on this, you have to get a majority agreeing with you that the change has to happen. And really what this becomes is a historical record of everything that's going on. So now, what is the advantage of it? Well, first of all, the only reason that somebody started using this type of philosophy is because of the technology. The faster processing speeds, the ability to move large amounts of information made this feasible. And the way it helps everyone is in each participant now, you're using the common ledger as all your information. So you don't have to keep the information yourself. It's on the ledger. And because everyone sees the ledger and the ledger is, quote, unhackable because if you have 100 participants, in order to change anything or get into this, to do anything, you have to have approval of over 50 of the participants. So then if you don't need now to pass the information, then no one needs to have a lawyer. No one needs to have an accountant. No one needs to have their own documentation and any records because it's all on the ledger. What makes this possible is the higher processing speeds and the ability to move a large amount of information. Because in doing blockchain, it's definitely not going to be faster than if somebody was running off a spreadsheet and everybody had access to that spreadsheet or database, right? So it's a little slower. But why is it good? Because it doesn't have any regulation on it. No one needs any permission. And in order to be a participant, the amount of information you need to be a participant is minimal. So basically, no one can track anybody else unless you knew exactly who they were and what the transactions are. So therefore, they're using this in a way that it's not trackable. It's decentralized. And so basically now it's going to be slower, right? And I hope I got this, uh, this sheet right. Yeah. Because if you want to have centralized control, you don't need this blockchain idea. But this blockchain, 
blockchain idea gives total security because of the way it's set up by the originator. And then the number of coins is set. So nobody can change that. And so the coins, now in the Bitcoin system, the coins increase in value if somebody wants to do more of this. And so basically it has become caught the eye of people on the stock market because blockchain and Bitcoin, the stocks have increased tremendously in value. Not regulated, you can go anywhere in the world. Nobody knows what you're doing. Nobody can stop you. It's like a totally free economy. Well, there are some people who are not going to like this. Like the big four accounting firms. Do you think they're going to like this? No. How about the banks? Do you think they actually like this going on? When somebody actually has created a new form of currency, and that's why they call it cryptocurrency, right? Because it's a new form of currency that no one has any control over. It's, you got something I want. I know who you are. I transfer you coins. And if I wanted to buy more of what you have, I have to buy more coins and then pay you in the coins. It's, it's quite an innovative technique. But the thing I like about it, that what it's showing is, if everybody's on the same ledger, then the lawyers, the accountants, the duplication and documentation, decision-making goes away. It becomes a totally transparent system. And when you have transparency, it minimizes the cost. Now, once again, blockchain is slower than somebody controlling this in a centralized location. But the key is because it's unregulated, people can do whatever they want. And so there's, there's no regulation, there's no governance over this system. The governance is already in the structure of it. And this is where I believe the future is going to go if it can overcome certain hurdles. Because the lawyer firms, the accountants, right, the third party checkers, they're not going to like this. But this is the future because of the technology. And during the pandemic, it's actually push this techno technology further and faster. I, it's here. So I want to concentrate now on the common ledger idea, which creates transparency. To minimize human participation. <laughs> it's the concept of automation. And it's here to stay. Well, automation means minimization of human task, which means the supply chain now, as far as all the people in it and the length of it is short. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more content. If you have any questions about the best value approach or for Dr. Dean, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get to them in a later video. Thanks, we'll see you next time.